It's up there. It's up there, please. Kyle, can I have your shirt? Of course you can, mate, but you need to get out of the premises. We've got an intruder. <laughs> if the football ever stops working out for him, we'd be more than happy to, uh, to have him as part of the team, I think, yeah. Thanks for the experience. I've really enjoyed today. We've got a special treat today. So we've got first team captain Carl Walker, the men's team. Uh, he's going to be joining us for a little bit of time today. Uh, we're going to put him through his paces on kind of what we do here from a security perspective on the campus. So we're going to have him on the CCTV cameras and we're going to do some engagement with him in one of our customer facing pods as well. Control panel, we have a strange player in the gym. So Kyle, nice to meet you. My nice name's Aaron. You. So nice I'm from the uh, from the campus security team. Uh, so I'm one of the managers here. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Yeah. So we've got a couple of things lined up for you today. We're going to put you through your paces. We're going to test you and see if you make a good security officer. Okay. We've got a couple of things we need to give you beforehand though. You need to make sure that you look the part. So first, we've got a security vest for you. Lovely. You need to put on. Yep. The camera. With the camera, yeah. Just to make sure that I'm doing things right. It's got a radio for you? Yeah. Okay. Put it in your pocket. That's fine. And then last but not least, what a day. We've got you some special accreditation. Okay. Oh, look at so, that. So, that's go. for you to wear to put on for Perfect. today, all right? Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm work experience. <laughs> Lovely. He's physical. Work experience. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. You're not going to have to take anyone down, though, I don't think. I don't mind. <laughs> no, definitely not. No. no. Right. I'll catch him. Yeah? Yeah, I'll, ca yeah well, I'll catch him. It's up there. It's up there, please. All right, go in. Have a good time. So we're going to head over to the control room now. Uh, so we've got a team in there that are going to put you through your paces on, yep. the, on the CCTV. In the control room as well, we have intercoms. Uh, so we'll do some engagement with you there with, with some of, the, some of the, the staff and the clients and the, and the visitors that we have on site. So obviously doing your job, what skills you need. There's a lot of lot of training that goes into becoming a security officer. Um, in terms of some of the kind of the, the attributes and skills that we look for, so uh, you need to be a, a team player. Who's that? Just Kevin. <laughs> Control panel, uh, we have a strange player in the gym. KDB, ginger air. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing balls, can we please remember? Oh, and we've got someone with long hair from Leeds. Lovely guy though, both out of the gym. <laughs> hey, Carl, so Hi this guys. Is, this is Ian. Ian, how are you, pal? How are you? Yeah, okay, right. yeah. all right. So Kyle, so we're currently here now in the uh, in the 24 hour control room. So this is kind of the command and control center for, for all the security operations that take place on this side of the campus, okay? Yeah. So we've got Lisa here today, who's our control room operator. So as you can see at the minute, she's currently observing all the cameras that we have on site. Yeah. So we've got probably in excess of, of over 200 cameras um, across all external areas, internal areas. So the first team building, for example, yeah. has got a number of cameras located around it that we can obviously, we can we can tap into as and when we need to observe and, and monitor any any situations, okay? Uh, Lisa, I've seen you for a couple of years now. How long have you actually worked here for? Well, I've been for, with Man City Security for about 11 years now. Wow, wow. Yeah, I've been here since I was a nipper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at some of these things and you actually don't even know that this camera's there, do you? Mm. Like, we wouldn't even pick out that there is a camera. Yeah in certain areas but so like I say this is your, your first so your first team yeah. reception yeah. so as you come yeah. through the doors there's a camera there and that's obviously not to keep an eye on you guys that's so that we can we do, see we do see person. you sort of like messing around and stuff I bet you do yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet you do what what are these little ones here then the what, what, what we call fish eye cameras Okay. He had a lot of questions to ask as well, didn't he? He was asking all sorts. Yeah, we did. It was um, fantastic. It was just, he was more into like, what we actually do in security and stuff. The great people to actually um, talk to. Um, it's like seeing one of your friends. Yeah. You can have quite a laugh with him. Just one set, the intercom's just going off. Hello, security. Hello. 
Um, I work at HQ and I forgot my pass. Hi mate, sorry, can you repeat that please? I work at the HQ, I'm an editor. Uh, I've just forgotten my pass again. Perfect mate, I just need to know your name. Uh, Robbie, Robbie Hanks. Ask him who his line manager is. And who is your line manager please? Uh, Craig Martin. Do you like him? Yeah, he's all right. Good to go. If he's forgot his pass, he needs to go around to the media. Sorry, mate. Uh, if you forgot your pass, you need to go around to the media and they'll uh, let you in through that entrance. OK, great. Sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you. Feel bad for him. Well, unfortunately, well, unfortunately they, they mate, on your bike, go on, get walking. Off he goes. He, obviously, security is paramount, so obviously we have, we have accreditation that we have yeah. to wear, so it's really, really important to, so that we're making sure that we, we're letting the, the right people in on site. Whilst we're looking here now, we're making these observations. Is there anything there that's uh, that's looking a little bit suspicious yeah. or towards here? Yeah? yeah, a man holding up a banner. What's it saying? Kyle, can I have your shirt? Of course you can, mate, but you need to get out of the premises. Yeah. I think we uh, we may have to dispatch a team out yeah, yeah. just to uh, just to go and check it and see who he is. So we look. He's a lovely dodgy. man, though. We're going to move on from here now. We've got another little task lined up for you. Okay. Um, so we've actually got a break to cover for one of the officers in the North Pod. Perfect. So we're going to head wait. over there now. Well, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. See you soon. See ya. I'll be pinging you when I forgot my gate pass. So, Kyle, obviously as current first team captain, yeah. um, what do you feel or how do you go about being that kind of that communication link between the, the rest of the team and the manager? I think it's important, obviously. I've been here now for seven years and to be voted as the captain for the team, it was a, a great honour first and foremost. Um, obviously coming off of the back of the, the season that we had. But to be that bridge and to be voted by your teammates as that bridge between manager and players where I can go and speak to the manager if the players are not happy with certain things or if we feel as a squad, you know, that things need to change or, you know, we need to do certain things in, in certain situations. Uh, I'm glad that the lads, you know, have trusted me in that and they voted me as the, as the club captain. But I think what you said is very important. It's about working as a team. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm not just a sole person. I'm in a team sport and I've got you know, four captains behind me that I always, you know, try and have a good communication with and make sure I, you know, they have their input as well as mine. This is our pod, this is Ian. Ian, Ian guys. hi mate. Okay. Go on, you can go on your break now, Paul. Yeah, yeah. I'll take break. over. Back in turn, all right. Yeah. Okay, Kyle, we've got a couple of controls in here that we need to be aware of, so we've got some barrier controls here, so. Yeah. So your top one does your in gate. Yeah. Middle one does the out gate. Yeah. And then the one at the bottom here does the, the bifold going into the stadium, okay? Okay. So obviously when people come and approach, what we need to do is we need to identify if they're a, if they're a member of staff or they're a member of public. Yeah. If they're a member of staff, they need to be asked to come and swipe the pass just on this intercom here. So we swipe on there and the barrier will open for them, okay? Okay. If you have any members of the public or anything like that, it's just a case of coming out ascertaining why they're here yeah and then we'll go from there so here we go we've got here we go we out here now so we can let them out if you want so it's the second one down so i don't obviously because they're leaving there's no no welcome have a nice day that was all right weren't it yeah spot, yeah. On. spot on and now how long's their shift here so we shift on here is probably around eight hours so we have a shift that starts at six o'clock in the morning till yeah. about three o'clock yeah and then we have a three o'clock till ten o'clock here we go. Here we go, he's the first customer. Yeah, if you want to go out and engage him. Hi mate, I think I recognise your face. <laughs> have you got a pass? I can't, yeah. Perfect. I'm going, in, I'm going away with the women's team to uh, Liverpool this afternoon. Okay, cheers pal, thank, thank you. Very much, well, I wish them all the best I and will. safe travel. Thank you. See you pal. Yeah. See you mate. Hello mate. Hi pal. Somebody here named Will Dixon. Will Dixon? This is Northgate here. Yeah. So we'll let you through if you just want to pull up at the front on the side, yeah? Okay. Okay then. Cheers, Paul. Thank you. So the taxis always get parked there. Taxis always get parked there, yeah. We don't let taxis into there unless they are they've got confirmation from bookings. Yeah. 
Ian, it's all under control. The only thing is, we've got a taxi there waiting for someone. Okay. Um, so maybe keep an eye on him. Okay. Apart from that, seems tip top. Sometimes they can be kind of um, they can kind of be kept away from it for obvious reasons to to make sure they can focus on the football. But yeah, I think it's really really good for them to to experience to understand exactly what it is that goes into to running a you know a, a football club. He's got really engaged. Um, he's he's done really really well to be fair. Um, and listen, if the football ever stops working out for him, we'd be more than happy to uh, to have him as part of the team. I think yeah. You all got your IDs. Perfect. So Kyle, tell me how have you found it today? No, oh, it's been a good insight, obviously. The amount of work and concentration and the love of security that you have to keep us safe and everyone that's in the building safe, we really do appreciate it. But um, it's an eye-opener. Yeah, yeah. Obviously for me, I just come into work and kind of think, okay, I'm safe. And I don't really think about all the cameras that you have to watch, the people that are coming in and out of the gates, um, the security side of things, because obviously we trust you guys and You've done a fantastic job for us, so thank oh, you. I appreciate for... that. So, Kyle, listen, that wraps up today. So thank thank you. you very much. No, I really appreciate it. Remember to bring that accreditation on next time you come in, yeah? Will do. Keep that with you, and we'll see you at North Pod, yeah? All right, cheers, Perfect, all thank right. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Team, my shift is now over. See you next year.